നെക്സ്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ട്വൻറ്റി ഫോർ എ ഫ്രീ ട്രെയിൻ ലെഫ്റ്റ് ഡൽഹി ഫോർ മുംബൈ അറ്റ് അൻ ആവറേജ് സ്പീഡ് ഓഫ് ഫോർട്ടി കിലോമീറ്റർ പെർ അവർ ടു അവേഴ്സ് ലേറ്റ് അൻ എക്സ്പ്രസ് ട്രെയിൻ ലെഫ്റ്റ് ഡൽഹി ഫോർ മുംബൈ ഫോളോയിങ് ദ ഫ്രീ ട്രെയിൻ ഓൺ എ പാരൽ ട്രാക്ക് അറ്റ് അൻ ആവറേജ് സ്പീഡ് ഓഫ് സിക്സ്റ്റി കിലോമീറ്റർ പെർ അവർ ഹൗ ഫാർ ഫ്രം ഡൽഹി വുഡ് ദ എക്സ്പ്രസ് ട്രെയിൻ മീറ്റ് ദ ഫ്രീ ട്രെയിൻ സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് ലെഫ്റ്റ് ഡൽഹി സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് ഡൽഹി and mumbai okay now uh, it is given first a freight train traveled in this direction at 40 km per hour okay 2 hours later so with 2 hours how much distance this freight train has covered 40 km per hour it was traveling so 14 into 2 80 km it has covered after after 2 hours okay so after 2 hours freight train uh, reached 80 km say this is the distance this is where freight train is 80 km so from this distance it is traveling at 40 km per hour and now a new train is st- st- uh, starting from delhi and is going going in this direction at 60 km per hour okay how far from delhi would the express train meet the uh, freight train is the question so uh, if you know the relative speed uh, it is fairly simple uh, we will assume this train is stationary and uh, the new train freight train is at stationary and the new train is traveling at a relative speed so relative speed when they are moving in the same direction will be v1 minus v2 or 60 minus 40 20 km per hour so at 20 km per hour uh, that train is moving uh, at a relative speed that train is moving and it uh, when at the time they meet uh, using the relative speed concept it should cover 80 kilometers this 80 kilometers uh, since this is stationary at the time of meeting this uh, at uh, at a relative speed of 20 km per hour it should travel 80 kilometers so time time will be time is distance by uh, speed so relative distance that is 80 km by relative speed uh, which is uh, 20 km per hour so we get 4 hours as our time so this train from this point and uh, when the freight train is at 80 km apart it will take further 4 hours to catch up so further 4 hours means uh, this train from here has traveled 4 hours with a speed of 60 km the total distance it has actually moved will be 60 into 4 that is 240 kilometers so from delhi by the time they catch us up so somewhere here uh, they have covered 240 kilometers or we could say 4 four, four hours from this point the freight train has traveled so 40 into 4 so 40 into 4 is 160 kilometers so 160 kilometers it has traveled this is 160 and 160 plus 80 is nothing but 240 so we can calculate in that manner also uh, so i was able to calculate this using the concept of relative speed so, since if you don't know the relative speed concept you can check out the video uh, relative speed and using relative speed in csat problems uh, there is a video i have uploaded in the playlist the basic ma- mathematics concepts you can check that out and i have clearly explained what is relative speed and how we can apply s- that concept in csat problems um, do check out if you have any confusion uh, if you further have any confusion comment under this video i will try to uh, uh, address it and uh, if if a new video is needed i will try to do that okay anyway solution to question 24 is uh c 240 kilometers so uh, that is 
by the time this train uh, the express train catches up with the freight train it, it must have traveled 240 kilometers from the delhi so that is the solution solution to question 24 c